Hello everyone, this is No Bleach Mustache, and today we are here with another main association of Math Leaks problem from January 2013, Meet 4, Round 3, which is Linear Coordinate Geometry, Problem 3. And the interesting part about this round is that a lot of the problems need, um, a lot of the problems are either about lines or triangles or both, so you need to put a lot of things together, but even though it's a geometry problem, you don't need a diagram. Which is very interesting. So, the coordinates of triangle ABC are 6, 11, negative 2, 1, and 10, negative 1. AD is the median from A to side BC. Point. Okay, so just there, AD is the median from A to side BC. That means it goes from A and then bisects side BC. So D is the midpoint of BC. So that's the first thing you would want to notice there. Point E on line 80 has X coordinate of 8. So if you want to find point E from the X coordinate, you probably want it to get you want to get it into Y intercept form. So we need to find A D in Y intercept form. And then find the X intercept of the line through E perpendicular to AD. So now we need to find another line and then find the X intercept of that line. So there's three steps to this. D, find D, because D is the midpoint of B and C. Find AD, because AD, because we need AD to find E. So that's the th third step, find E from AD. And the fourth step would be find the x-intercept of this new line. So, find D. AD is the median from A to BC, so D is the midpoint of B and C. And then here, I just use midpoint formula to find D. So D is 4, 0. Because negative 2 plus 10 over 2 is 4, and 1 plus negative 1 over 2 is 0. Find the slope of AD. So we know that A is 6, 11, and D is 4, 0. So change in Y would be 11 minus 0, which is 11. And change in X would be 6 minus 4, which is 2. So the slope is 11 over 2. And then we find AD. So we use point slope form with M equals 11 halves. And D is 4, 0. So I'm going to use that as X1, Y1. And then we plug into point slope form. Y minus 0 equals 11 halves X minus 4. And then to get it into y intercept form, like I said at the beginning, we distribute the 11 halves. So you get y equals 11 halves x minus 22. And then we find e. So to find e, we know that the x coordinate is 8 because the problem said so. So we substitute 8 into, these, into this equation. So you get y equals 11 halves times 8 minus 22. That's 44 minus 22. And that's 22. So we get e equals 8. 22. And then we find this, the, if you go back to the original problem, we wanted to find the line perpendicular to line AD through E. So to find the slope of that line, we take the negative reciprocal of the slope of AD because it's perpendicular. So we get negative 1 over 11 halves, which is negative 2 elevenths. And then we use point slope form again, because we know that m is negative 2 elevenths. And then for x1, y1, we use e, which is a22, because we know that the point, I mean the line, goes through e. So we get y minus 22 equals negative 2 elevenths x minus 8. And now from this, we need to find the x-intercept. So we plug in y equals 0. So 0 minus 22 equals negative 2 elevenths x minus 8. 0 minus 22 is negative 22. Multiply both sides by negative 11 halves to cancel out the negative 2 elevenths, and we get 121 on the left side and x minus 8 on the right side. Solve for x, x equals 129. So the answer to the equation is the x-intercept is 129, 0. The big point of this problem is to make sure, like, the common mistake would be to make sure that you write 129, comma, 0, in parentheses, like an ordered pair, instead of just x equals 129, because the x-intercept is a point, not just a number. So it's not just 129, it's 129, comma, 0. So that's a big mistake that you want to avoid. But other than that, um, 
I think that this is a pretty simple round. Uh, hopefully you noticed the new format, this new slideshow format. I hope you liked it. If you liked the new format, or if you didn't like it and want to put feedback, please comment below in Google Plus or on YouTube. And I hope you like this problem. And have fun in math.